Hello and welcome back. This is Steve Bucks Coins and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at the fourth of the women's quarters from the USA. The first three were Maya Angelano, Dr. Sally Ride, Wilma Mankiller. This one is Mina Ottero Muffin. And the last one for this year will be Anna Mae Wong. So this lady is the fourth one in the series. She died at the age of 83. However, she was born Maria Adelina Emilia, known as Nina Otterea. She was born in the 23rd of October 1881 and died on the 3rd of the 1st 1965. She was born in Las Lamas, New Mexico and she died in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She was a woman suffragette, suffragette educator, politician in the US. Between 1917 and 1929 she was the first female governor official in Santa Fe. Her job was superintendent of instruction. She was the first Latino for Congress. In 1922 she ran for a seat in the House of Representatives as a Republican for New Mexico. Her mother was descended from the first settlers in New Mexico from Spain in 1598. Her father's family settled in New Mexico from Spain in 1786. Between 1892 and 94, she was educated at the Maryville College of the Sacred Heart in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1897, she moved to Santa Fe when her father, father's cousin, Miguel Antonio Otatero II, was appointed the Territorial Governor of New Mexico. This was between 1897 and 1906. In 1908 she married a cavalry officer, Lieutenant Javier de Warren, and was stationed at Fort Wingate in New Mexico. In 1910 they were divorced. One of the suggestions was that the Lieutenant Warren had a common-law wife in the Philippines, although this is only a rumour. In 1912 she moved to, Mexico, to New York City and it's thought to be for her brother Louis. She worked at Anne Morgan Settlement House and aimed, uh, aimed to aid working class women. She, she had close ties or made close ties with the Ella St. Clair Thompson for Congressional Union for Women's Suffrage. She returned back to New Mexico. By 1941 she worked with the WPA work for the Progressive Administration. She's a published author of three main books, which is Old Spain in the Southwest, which she published as Nina Otero. She also did another novel called Mexicans in Our Midst, newest and oldest, oldest settlers of the Southwest. In 1947, she started a real estate business named Las Dos, Las Dos Reality, Real, sorry, Las Dos Realty. She also started up an insurance company. She sold houses until her death at the age of 83. After her death on the 3rd of 1st, 65, in October 1988, the Colorado State 
named a school the Ottero Elementary School, which was founded as on the 26th of October 1988, as I've just said. So that gives you a brief overview of Nina, as she was known, and some biographical information about her. I'm going to move this coin out of the way so you can concentrate on this one. On the reverse of the coin you have her name down in this bottom corner here. You have her portrait as she's facing you, for certainly virtually face on. You have all of the other, all of the normal sort of, um, you have like the United States of America around the top. Around the bottom is the quarter dollar. As you can see, I have both Philadelphia and Denver. This, as I said, is the third set of, uh, sorry, the fourth set I've got of the five this year. We do have notification of which coins are coming in next year, in 2023. So we have Anna Wong still to come this year, and then in 2023 we have Bessie Coleman, Yurita Ida, Edith Kanka Ole, who's a, a Hawaiian lady, a lady that we all know, um, whose name we all know, Eleanor Roosevelt, and the last one is Moira Tall Chief. Whether they, that will be the order of release, I'm not sure at this moment in time. So that concludes this overview of the two 25 cent coins uh, in this particular series, this fourth one of the five. If you've enjoyed this video, can you please give me a thumbs up? Uh, so, I do four videos a week. Hopefully you'll find something you can enjoy watching over the next couple of weeks. I'm very close to 100 subs. I think it's 90, around about 96 at the moment is my tally. So, if you can help me get to 100, I'd be extremely grateful. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And lastly, uh, until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future from me, bye-bye. Ta-da!